In today's case, it's sunshine is That's the light right. at the end of the tunnel. Even though it's a little bit of sun We'll take today, it after yesterday. Though. No doubt about it. And then by tomorrow, bright sun around. Let's get you outside, see what's going on. This is a shot from our Space Coast Sky Cam. Notice the little water droplets on the lens. We've been watching overnight showers. Currently 68 degrees and mostly cloudy skies. Winds out of the east about 7 miles an hour. Now, that said, take a look at the first alert Doppler radar. Yesterday, it was green. As far as the eye could see, today we're just tracking a few of these little specks of rain. The droplets came from this little batch of showers that passed on through, now up around Satellite Beach and continuing to move off toward the uh, north and the west. So we'll put a track on this as it's moving off toward the north and the west here uh, through Brevard County. So if you live around, say, South Patrick Air Force Base, 523, Pineda, 535, and Vieira, 539, just a few light sprinkles moving on through. Bigger perspective showing fewer clouds, even fewer showers. There's lots Lots of green still up here around Jacksonville, but what a difference a day makes, right? Here's a look at the temperatures. Because we're going to get a little bit of sunshine, our readings will actually climb into the above average category. 77 Lynn, 78 today, Lady Lake, 80 degrees in Groveland. How's about that, right? 82 in Harmony, about 79 Lake Wales. Pushing into the metro, it's about 81 in Orlando, 80 degrees Longwood. Then as we get over toward the beach, because the water temperatures are still in the 50s and 60s, we're going to hold those air temperatures down. So 75. Ormond Beach and Marine Land, about 76 degrees New Smyrna Beach, and then upper 70s to near 80 degrees once you get around Palm Bay. 40% chance of rain. Here's future cast to pinpoint that. Through 7 a.m., notice we're going to have the clouds around, but not an overcast sky with plenty of showers sitting just off the coast. By 10 o'clock, we begin to develop a couple of these showers kind of moving toward the west on that uh, onshore wind. And then by 1 o'clock, notice we start seeing some yellows and reds, some pockets of heavier precipitation, certainly. Look to be in the forecast. So if you're heading out to the Central Florida Fair, hopefully we're not going to close the thing down like yesterday because of the weather. 11 o'clock, gates open, 72 degrees, mostly cloudy skies through the afternoon. We'll start to watch a few showers popping on up, and then by 10 o'clock, of course, as the event closes for the day, we'll talk about kind of that cloudy mist, even some fog trying to develop. So here's the setup for today. That onshore wind develops that sea breeze line, similar to a summer day, except not quite as intense. As we look ahead to tomorrow. This area of high pressure, our dominant influence begins to push south, and that's going to give us more of a southerly kick to the wind. And by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're talking about warm air moving into central Florida. We're also talking about drying, too. Today, tomorrow, best chances of rain. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we dry things out. Here's your seven day forecast. You can see those temperatures clearly rising. Tuesday, 82, 85 by Wednesday, Thursday, 87. We could be flirting with record highs.